We're going to talk about the Facebook changes going on right now for September 2019. Tons of people are freaking out about them. Maybe one of them is even you. And we're going to talk about why you don't need to freak out because of the new housing, housing category box. All right, so let me show you what's going on. So if you go into your ads manager and you click on create, it's going to have this new thing right here, right? It says new category required for U.S. credit, employment, and housing ads. If you're based in or targeting the U.S. and you're creating a campaign that includes ads for credit, employment, or housing offers, you must choose that category that best describes your ads. Any ads that aren't correctly categorized by August 26th won't run until they're edited to comply. So, you know, if you, click, <clears throat> you can click on learn more. I'll include uh, this link if, I, if it's possible to include that link, um, which I don't think it's going to be. I was going to try to include that on the description. But anyways, it's really simple. OK, so if you just do right here, you click on this. It asks you what's your ad category. OK, so you can see right here. Here's credit ads for credit card offers, auto loans, long term financing or other related opportunities. So if you're doing, you know, that's really, although long-term financing could be considered us, but they have that in housing. So the next one is, is employment. So if you're running ads for jobs or any of that kind of thing, and the one that really matters to us is housing, right? So that one says ads for real estate listings, homeowners, insurance, mortgage loans, and other related opportunities, right? So you want to check that. Now that's going to make sure that you're compliant, okay? So then when you actually go to make your ad, you know, depending on whatever kind of ad you're running, let's just say if you're running, you know, a conversions ad, for example, or I'll just use a lead generation ad if you're using one of those. So you can hit continue here. Now I'll show you what's the difference. The main difference is right here on the ad set level. OK, so first off is once you pick your page, whatever page you're going to use to do that. Um, now, when you come down here in the audience. OK, so number one, you can see saved audiences are, are no longer available because most of them are going to be non-compliant. They don't even allow you to save the audiences right now. OK, so you can use custom audiences, though. All right. So you can use um, you can use custom audiences that you've built, whether that's custom audiences from your database, from uh, things within Facebook, even people that open your lead forms, watch your videos, engage your page, those kind of things as well. Um, now, when you do the location, so first let me switch to like America, obviously. So let's just say if you go to a city level, right? If you just put like Arlington, Texas, it's going to automatically go Arlington, Texas plus 15 miles. Now, the other option is that you could just put in an actual, you know, an actual address of a house um, in, in Arlington, right? And then it was going to pick off of that. So instead of picking off the center of the city, it'll pick off of the address that you actually want it to go from. So you have a couple options there. Um, and obviously you can still change everyone in this location, people who, who live here. So you can still have that. But if you look here, you know, zip codes aren't available anymore where you used to be able to select or exclude certain zip codes. And now you can no longer do that, right? Um, you actually, if you look at the location, there's no way to exclude anything at this point. It's just based on that specific uh, radius. So then when you come down the age, you have to keep 18 to 65 plus. So you're literally targeting every adult on Facebook with the ads and you're targeting male and female. You don't have the ability to, to select, unselect one of those, uh, one of those options, male or female. So you have to go with both genders. But Facebook, you're kind of relying on Facebook, right? Because 18 to 65 plus, and I'll show you an example, but yeah, um, you're kind of relying on them that based on what your ad's about, what you're saying that you want to hit, they're going to go and still select who they're being, who your ad's being shown to. Because, you know, they're in the business of keeping people happy, the users. And if they start showing everybody ads where, you know, an 18-year-old or a 65-year-old, uh, your ad that makes no sense for them, eventually it's going to wear down the users and they're going to leave. So right now what they're trying to do is make sure that they provide a good user experience. And I think that instead of you being able to select who to show the ads to, Facebook is going to do that with their own information. Okay. Now here you can select English or if you look, there's also a couple of other, a couple of other things available. I believe that Spanish is available in here. Uh, I don't know. Hindi is available. Uh, let's see, is Filipino available? 
Filipino. Well, I'm surprised they don't call it Tagalog. But there's a lot of languages that are in here. So if you're doing different language campaigns, you can see that that's still an option. Now, becoming the detailed targeting, what's cool is that a lot, there's tons of stuff that's still in here, right? So just like show you a couple of different options. I mean, you've got real estate. You have a real estate broker. You have real estate investing. Um, you have uh, Realtor.com, right, Zillow, Trulia, Homes.com, I think, uh, maybe not. Home, uh, I thought I thought Homes.com. Uh, let's see. You know, then of course you could just come in here in the in the suggestions and see what else is in here. House hunting, first time buyer, Homes.com. You know, luxury real estate, you can see all these different options that are in here, right? Single family detached home, pre-qualifying for lending, mortgage calculator, refinancing. So these are all things that are in here, right? Cash out, refinance, home equity line of credit, right? So there's things in here even still to target reverses, right? All these home equity. Look at all these things where you could go if you're trying to get refinances. There's a bunch of stuff in there for that as well, right? But if you just look at that as an example, so you're at 630,000 people, right, for that kind of big big audience. I just wanted you to see, you know, it doesn't have to be super scary. There's still a lot of different options that are in here. I think one of the main areas where they took out everything is around military and veteran. It says veterinary medicine now. Military, let's see, can you go with like Air Force? Yeah. See, so you just have to kind of look through here and see what's all in here. But it basically, you know, so some stuff is going to be affected, right? Depending on what kind of ads you've been running, if you've been, you know, if you've been running different kind of ads, there's there's different stuff people use, right? Uh, when it comes to running for different niches, different industries, going after specific companies. Um, some of that stuff is going to be affected. But what's great is, let me try to see if I can find uh if I can go on my other account real quick, one second. All right, so let me show you this real quick. Um, is uh, So I decided to do a test, right? With these changes, I was like, man, what's the kind of a campaign that could really be hard to do now? And one example is a 55 plus community, right? So there's a lot of uh, retirement, active uh, retirement communities, whatever you wanna call them, and adult only neighborhoods. And so I decided to run one of those with a new targeting. Now keep in mind, that means I have to target 18 to 65, right? So here's just an example. I ran this one right here for 10 bucks a day and you can see what my cost is, right? 14 leads. I reached 451 people, <clears throat> 56 cents a lead. What's cool is that if you just look at the numbers, right? The fact that it got 28 link clicks and 14 forms, that means that the form is converting at 50%. Right? What landing page do you know that's converting at 50%, right? And even just overall, the ad itself, Facebook only put the ad in front of 451 people, right? So if you divide, uh, oops, if you divide 14 divided by 451, that's a 3% conversion, 3.1% conversion from cold market, seeing the ad to, to actually convert it to a lead. So it's pretty awesome. If this kind of stuff, you know, interests you, Definitely reach out to us, legionalonofficers.com slash apply or oneagentaway.com. You can see what we've got going on inside the Legion, but this is the kind of stuff that we're talking about in there all the time is, you know, the changes, everything going on with Facebook and Snapchat and YouTube and Google and Instagram and these different platforms so that we stay on top of the ones that interest you the most, right? Um, right now, obviously, Facebook ads is crushing the fact that we're getting leads for 56 cents, you know, uh, pretty epic. So just wanted to show you that. Um, and, and again, this is even with the changes, right? So this is with the changes. Everybody's freaking out. We're getting leads for 56 cents. And, you know, ask yourself, even if these leads only converted at one or two or 3%, how many would you need to convert for 56 cents in order to get an ROI? All right. So this is one way that we're using Facebook ads. We have a couple of different others. This is just called the training wheels method right here inside the Legion. And again, if this interests you, check us out, legionalonofficers.com slash apply. Make sure that you give me a thumbs up, 
shoot a comment down below what you thought about this tip or how it's going for you since the changes have occurred and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that uh, bell button so you can get notified whenever I drop new videos and I hope you're having an awesome day. See it.